CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. Thank you for being here. We begin tonight in the Couch and Valley, where homeowners who've been cut off from the outside world by a washed out road finally have a way into and out of their community. It's taken a while, more than three months of back and forth between the Couch and Valley Regional District, the landowner, and the province, but work has finally begun to fix the washout. As CTV's Jet Bazzi shows us tonight, the homeowners have a local contracting business to thank for finally getting them back on the road. It took them a while to get here. But here they are, spilling loads of gravel onto this washed out road. You're better late than never. The road runs through Craig Harmon's property. It's the only public access to a neighborhood on the other side. More than three months ago, heavy rainfall washed the road away. The damage cut off five couch and families from the main road. Harmon and his neighbors couldn't afford the repairs and got no financial help from the CVRD or the Ministry of Transportation. He was told that the road was on private land and his problem. Now, some local contractors have stepped up and brought in their mighty machines, punching out the road around the washout. There were different agencies involved. Um, some of them had their hands tied and couldn't help us at all, but uh, I think... Uh, a couple of, couple of private people have stepped up. Craig says the ministry did not pay a dime in the repairs. They were a big help in pointing people in the right direction. They did help. They did the best that they could. It's private land. Their hands were tied. The road may still be on private land, but remains the only public access to these homes. Beth had a tough time going up and down the hill. She says seeing the machines repairing the road is a sight for sore eyes. A lot of worries will be gone, just things like possible emergencies and things. Uh, just being able to get in and out without trying to coordinate with somebody who might drive a gator down to pick one up or another car or something. People are very excited. I mean, they've had enough, and uh, after three months, it was kind of reaching the boiling point. This farm had a tough time getting feed in for its animals. Now since the road is fixed, the farmer says it will save time and money. There's round bills coming in this week and opposed to coming five kilometers down the road from where they're coming, they have to come almost 15 kilometers all the way around so there's extra trucking costs. The road is being pushed over by four meters, making it safer. Plus, proper drainage is being installed. Many can't wait to put rubber to the gravel. Just so looking forward to the day I can actually drive in and out properly. She'll get her day this Tuesday. That's the day this sign is officially being removed. Jeff Bassey, CTV News, Couch and Valley.